Belgian Malinois are working dogs. What that means is, for the most part, they have continued to be bred to the highest level of the breed standard. The only thing that you should never think about is to completely stop your Belgian Malinois from barking. First, Belgian Malinois are innate vocal and protective, and it is very difficult to completely stop them from barking. On the other hand, you need your Belgian Malinois to warn you of current dangers and to protect you when you need it. Barking is innate in them, but constant barking can get on anyone's irritate. Below are some tips and tricks to stop the Belgian Malinois from barking, or at least keep barking at a minimum. Training. To minimize barking, it's very important to teach and train him basic commands from an early age, learn how to behave when a guest comes into your home, and then reward him for being quiet. Additionally, when your dog shows his new behavior and receives a reward, he will learn that it is a good thing to have new people in your house and that it is not a threat. Seat and stay before you start, train him to get to the spot and stay there when the door is open or when your guest comes to your house, you should teach him how to sit or lie down and then stay there. Say, go to your seat, let him see his treat, then toss the treat where you want him to go and stay. Do this sequence 10 to 20 times. For the 10th time, pretend to toss the treat so your dog will move towards the spot on its own. As soon as he's in his seat, toss him the treat. When he stops, you can end the fake throwing action with your arm and just give him the command, go to your seat. Then wait for him to do it and reward him. Once your dog gets into place reliably, change your position when you send him there. Practice giving pointers to him from different angles and distances to go to his place. For example, say, go to your seat, when you are just a few steps to the left. After a few repetitions, take a few steps to the right of the spot and say, go to your spot, from there. Then go to another part of the room, then another, and so on and so forth. In the end, practice standing by the front door and asking him to go to his seat, as you might when guests arrive. Once your dog has mastered walking in his place, start teaching him to sit or sit down when he gets there. As soon as your dog's rump hits the ground on the spot, reward them with another, perhaps different, treat test. Then, give him another cue, you can use, yes, or, okay, and let him go to his spot. Do these steps at least 10 times per training session. Distraction if your pup barks at people or other pets while you're out for a walk, it may help to give him a toy or ball just before barking. You can always distract them by showing them a treat or throwing them a toy to play with when somebody approaches. When you use the treat, let them know they have it, but they won't get it unless it's quiet and doesn't bark. Always praise a lot for calm and they will learn very quickly when he is calm they will get a treat. A few things not to do. Do not encourage your shepherd dog to bark at noises such as people passing or other pets walking past your house, birds outside the window, or any other activity on the street, by saying, who's there? Instead of punishing your dog for barking when they make particular noises, such as slamming car doors and children playing in the street, encourage them to bark when they make other noises, such as people at the door. You have to be consistent. Never use punitive procedures if your dog barks in fear or unless a veterinary behaviorist advises you otherwise. This would make them feel worse and, as a result, their barking could increase. Never use a muzzle to keep your shepherd dog calm for long periods of time or when you are not actively close by. Dogs cannot eat, drink, or pant to cool off, so it would be inhuman to let your dog wear it for long periods of time. Never tie your dog's muzzle with ropes strings, rubber bands, or other objects.